This is Richard Chernock for Systems Academy. This is the third in a series of videos about the System Sandwich series. Uh, this one was called Forest. This was the qualitative diagram that's the top of the sandwich. And next we're going to do the quantitative uh, model based on this diagram. So we see we have planting trees, creating a forest, harvesting, taking trees out of the forest, and some of the trees that have to be harvested because of insects. All right, let's let's go to our um, remember our rain barrel model, our original rain barrel model. This is what we're going to stay with here because we've studied this, and you've hopefully spent some time running simulations of that. Uh, rain barrel model. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change the names of uh, uh, these. Um, so we're going to call this planting. Oops, planting, and we're going to call this the forest. And this is going to be called harvesting. So we've got trees that we're going to plant, and we're planting them. And we, the forest grows over time. There's a delay there. And then we harvest them. So, uh, but instead of a rate, one of the things we had in our original diagram was we had insects. So some of these trees are going to get uh, taken out uh, because of insects. And we're going to say that um, about one-tenth of the trees are taken out by insects. So that means we're going to put in um, 0.1, which would be 10%. Or we could just say uh, 1 divided by 10. One-tenth of the trees are going to be, uh, sorry, one-tenth of the trees are going to be taken out by uh, insects. So you can uh, see there the equation uh, 1 over 10 for insects. Uh, again, the level is just the uh, level in the uh, stock. This time it's going to be the forest, number of trees in the forest. We have to change that because, we, because we've changed the names of these things, we're going to need to change the names in the equation. So the, um, the level uh, times the uh, insect rate, which is one-tenth, is going to be um, there. OK, now one of the things we're going to do is uh, we're going to put in another link here. And we're going to say, well, the, we're, we're going to, uh, I'm going to hold the shift key down and put a little, couple of little tabs here so we can move this out. And what we've got here is an information loop. The dotted lines are information. So the um, amount harvested is going to be information going back to planting. And we're going to... Uh, use that in helping determine uh, how much to plant. So we're going to uh, take 10 new trees, but we're going to uh, also add to that some, uh, we're going to take 90% that is, uh, excuse me, 90% would be 9 over 10. So uh, put the parentheses around that just to make sure we're being clear about this number. Oops. So we've got 10 new trees plus we're going to plant 90% uh, of what we harvested. Why did I pick that? You can pick any number. Um, 
say that that's the law. The law, there's a new law that requires that when uh, people go in and log the state forest, they have to plant uh, 90 percent of the trees that they harvest, they have to plant that many more. And then uh, let, let's start with just that first and then we'll add, we can plant uh, trees later, extra trees. So right now we're just going to stand, instead of saying 100,000, we're going to say that we've got um, zero trees to plant here. But we start out with a forest of um, a thousand trees. And this is measuring the level in the forest. The forest, let's just check everything. The forest has an initial value of a thousand. And we've got the harvesting, nine, nine tenths of the trees harvested. We're going to plant 90% of those. The insects are going to take up. Uh, 10% of the trees and um, the harvesting is going to be the um, level times the uh, amount taken by the insects. All right, so you see that this, I've added another uh, feedback loop here for harvesting, but basically this is the same model as the rain barrel. We've got two feedback loops this time though. Okay, so let's look at our time settings. Um, I think that the simulation is 200. Um, let's say it's 100 years, and we're going to go with years this time. All right. So now, based on our experience with the rain barrel, you'd probably want to think about what's going to happen here. Um, We could um, try to figure it out, but it's really not, we're really not able to do the calculus in our mind. And there's two feedback loops here, which make it really complicated. Let's just see what's, um, what happens here. I think we have to go speed this up a little bit. 100. Well, it's not quite enough time, is it? 100 years. Let's go to uh, 200 years. Let's see what happens. Uh, simulation. A nice downward sloping parabola and you want to ask yourself why does this system behave that way so well we're only harvest we're, we're only planting 90 percent of the trees that we're harvesting so yeah you'd expect that uh, over time the number of uh, trees in the forest would go down so you, you could see that uh, it's declining over time also, the insects are taking out 10% uh, of the trees. Um, so you've got 20% of the 10 percent of the trees uh, aren't being replaced every year. I wonder what would happen if we um, took out this information, this second information loop that I put in that makes it more complicated. And we went back to saying that there were um, lots of trees available for us to plant. And we're going to, instead of having the harvesting there, we're going to have uh, 10 uh, trees coming in from um, The available stock. Now the only thing that's taking trees out of the forest is are, are the, uh, the insects. So the only trees that we're harvesting are the ones that the insects have uh, uh, damaged. 
let's see what happens with our new model. Wow. If we're only, if we're only planting uh, 10 trees every year, we have a pretty rapid decay because of insects. And you can see from this graph that after 50 years, you've got basically 100 trees out of the 1,000 that you started with. So that's probably not a good plan. So that's why someone might have a policy where they uh, require, like I had here, the uh, requirement that you plant enough trees every year to uh, replace the ones that are harvested. So let's plant uh, every year, let's say, let's let's plant uh, 50 and then uh, we're also going to plant uh, like we did before we're going to plant 90% of what's harvested so we've still got our insects taking one tenth we've got the uh, level times that and we have uh, link put it back into uh, from harvesting to planting. So let's uh, run it again, see what happens. Oh wow. We turned that around, didn't we? Oh. So by putting in, planting just 50 trees now, we've got a forest that's growing. Wow, well, that's probably too many trees, and they're not going to grow very high. So we should probably um, reduce the number of uh, extra trees we're planting. So instead of um, 50, let's Let's, let's go back to those 10 trees that we had. Supply that, and then uh, we'll run it again. See what happens. Oh, cool. It's perfect. It stays at 1,000 trees the whole time. So there is an example of homeostasis, that is the equilibrium. The system is in equilibrium. With those 10 extra trees you're planting, and you're planting 90% of what you're harvesting, you are able to sustain 1,000 trees in your forest for 200 years with no problems, maybe. So. One of the uh, ways to use your original rain barrel model is now you can become an expert at managing a forest. You can build yourself a, a model of, of how to uh, plant and harvest, how many trees to plant and harvest based on how many uh, trees are in a forest. And you can build a qualitative model then based on this quantitative model, you can build a model that is a diagram for presentation. After you run a lot of simulations, so you uh, understand all of the uh, ways that this the, the forest might be in equilibrium, or that you might be planting too many trees, or not enough trees, uh, trying to find the right balance uh, here then you can make a qualitative presentation to people because you don't want to have them uh, get bored with all the numbers and the details of this uh, quanti quantitative model. You'll be a lot uh, more informed about how the, this system would work uh, than they will be 
if you've run uh, enough simulations. Okay, my 15 minutes are up. That's the end of this uh, video. Thank you.